Fusion 360's sketch-based features allow us to create solid geometry from closed and open profiles. To create a sketch-based feature, make sure that you are in the model workspace and go to Create. And the sketch-based features are here. Let's start by creating an extrude. I'll choose the extrude command, choose my closed profile, and then I can use the manipulator or the dialog to set the depth of my extrusion. When I am done, I can choose OK to complete the command. To create a revolve feature, I will come up to Create, Revolve, and select my closed profile. In this case, I will click and hold to choose the profile that is behind the feature. Finally, I will need an axis. In this case, I'll pick an axis that is already part of my sketch. By default, Fusion will create this as a cut feature because I already have a body in my model. I can make the direction two-sided, symmetric. I can make it a full revolve or a part of a revolve using an angle. I will choose OK to complete the command. To create a sweep feature, I will come up to Create, Sweep. In this case, I will need a closed profile and a path. Once again, I will left click and hold, pick my profile. In this case, my path can be the edge of the solid. Once again, Fusion will create a cut feature because I already have a solid on this model. I can choose the extent of my cut. I can choose if the cut will be parallel or perpendicular to the path. I will choose OK to complete this command. The next sketch base feature I will create will be Loft. Create Loft. A Loft feature requires two closed profiles. I'll pick the first closed profile and the second. These handles can be used to take out any twists between profiles. You can set the continuity of the first profile or the second profile here. I will choose OK to complete this command. Finally, we will create a rib. A rib is the only sketch base feature that can be created using an open profile. I'll turn these sketches off. We don't need them right now. I'll come up to Create, Rib. I'll select the profile and use the manipulator to add a volume. By default, the rib will be created by the rib and the nearest solid body. To create a partial rib, I'll choose Depth. In this case, I need to flip the direction. And I can add volume using the manipulator. Finally, I'll right-click OK. That concludes this video on Fusion 360's sketch-based features.